Morning everyone. Um, we're back at the wood burner again and uh, today I'm going to tell you how you can measure your room to get the correct size of wood burner or pellet burner. Uh, first of all I'm going to just discuss the efficiency of um, wood burners and pellet burners etc. So for example an open wood or coal fire is about 32% efficiency. So 32% of your heat is going into the room and the rest is going up the chimney. For an open gas fire, it's about 55% efficient. And an average wood burner is about 70% efficient and a high efficiency model is about 80% efficient. Uh, a pellet burner, Modern pellet burners are between 70 and 80% efficient. Now, you've got to weigh up the pros and cons. So you've got to look at the storage and the cost of the fuel. You've got to, with a pellet burner and a wood burner, you've got cleaning out. For a wood burner, it's every couple of days. And for a pellet burner or a wood burner, you will, of course, have to have your chimney cleaned annually for safety and here in France, we require this as part of our insurance. Now, if you fancy a wood burner like this, you can measure your room. So the height by the width by the length in metres, add that up and then divide it by 14. And that will give you the kilo wattage to heat that room. Now, there are variables like if you have doors coming off the room or it's got tall ceilings, um, if it's draft proof, etc. But the minimum would be your answer. So for me, uh, the answer is eight for the kilowattage of the room, which means I would need a minimum of eight kilowatts to heat the room. Now, I'm saying a minimum because you're never really going to burn your wood burner at 100% efficiency. Now, this has just been lit about 10 minutes ago and I'm going to turn it right down and it's going to just tick over. It is not roaring up the lum. So this is a 10 kilowatt wood burner and we have doors going off to the kitchen. There is a stair going up from this room to the upstairs. So the heat will go upstairs and heat upstairs. And there is a secondary stair going up to the rest of the house. So that is how you work out the size of the wood burner that you're looking at, minimum. And um, frankly, we chose to stick with wood burners rather than go for pellet stoves because we like the look of it. Um, they're easy to maintain, they last for years, but now you have that information to go and make a, a choice based on 